hello and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is Trix and I make content about spirituality philosophy personal growth and creative arts and in today's video I want to start a new video series called uh, being a late bloomer or something like that I don't know what it's going to be called in the end but something with late bloomer because today I want to talk about why I consider myself a late bloomer and uh, why it took me so long to become the woman I am today. And I also want to talk about that we literally have our entire lives to become who we want to be and why we shouldn't stress about it because life's, life doesn't disappear after 30 and I want to chat about that in today's video it will be like a series on the channel about specifically personal growth and being a late bloomer which means blooming late <laughs> um, yeah this is the video I have for you today so first what is a late bloomer? You know those flowers who blooms late? They take more time than other flowers, than other plants. But in the end they become just as beautiful or successful as the other plants. That's pretty much what the late bloomer is. And it can also describe human beings because we tend to have like an age for anything in between this age and this age you're going in primary school elementary school high school college university everything in between that age and that age you probably get married and have kids and buy buying a house and uh, everything and in this age you might do this and that and have that job or advancing this stuff but what about all those people who don't do this stuff the traditional way because my high school experience was very different than many other uh, people's experiences I didn't even finish high school and when I got into university I had a high school equivalent diploma. I had an equivalent to a high school diploma. I didn't have a high school diploma, I have just an equ equivalent uh, sort of uh, certificate that I was uh, capable of to, to study in university. and. I missed a lot of elementary school as well because I um, I was severely bullied and I didn't um, I just didn't focus that much on school and in high school it got even worse and I didn't finish and now when I'm in university I'm almost 30 years old and I consider that being a late bloomer. Because I said earlier, you know the flower that blooms later than the other flowers but becomes equally beautiful, equally successful, um, just as capable as all the other flowers, that's me. And why do we feel like, why do we feel the need to put restrictions on everything and to say that on this age you're supposed to have this in order and in this age you're supposed to have that in order. Well, I don't have kids. I'm not married yet. I don't want kids, to be honest. I'm child-free by choice and that's something I'm content with. I'm happy with that and my partner is happy with that. 
I want to get married some day. Maybe that would won't happen. Maybe it will happen. That's up to my partner and I. And what I'm trying to say is that why do we feel a need to say that and you should have achieved this thing at this age or well that's late for someone your age like when i'm studying people say well uh, okay that's kind of late doing your bachelor's in in that age you are in right now it goes so fast when you study at university and i have autism i have adhd and i can't really focus all days and I have so much to do so I'm not really knowing if I'm going to be finished if I'm going to finish my degree anytime we'll see if I might need a pause or a break or something when I see the progress I have made from like my teenage years to now. I have made a huge pro progress uh, because I had difficulties communicating when I was younger because of my autism. I had difficulties with interpersonal um, relationships. I had difficulties at hard a hard time doing anything I didn't feel like doing. Not because I was spoiled or because I was lazy or something like that, but because of mental health. I couldn't seem to just start doing things. Um, and now I'm much better on actually get pretty productive in my day-to-day -day lives. Not every day, of course, but often enough. And I feel like for around two years ago now, so maybe when I was 28 or three years ago, when I was 27, a couple of years ago, I felt like I was finally growing, finally developing, finally getting myself together. I know I don't really like that phrase anymore because we are not always together even if we think we are. But what I mean by that is that I felt like I finally had come to term with what I wanted in life and what 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 I felt was important and um, I think that I was going in a good direction um, for like three years ago I just was just feeling more content and I was feeling more um, happy with my life cho choices and my life in general. It feels like when I was younger until maybe 25 years old, my life was put on hold because I didn't have an education, I didn't have a job, I didn't had any experiences like everyone else in my, or everyone else had in my age uh, was supposed to have in my age and it was put on hold because until that I felt like everything was just chaotic. I was going in and out of the hospital for the psychiatric hospital. I was uh, self-harming. I was in an abusive relationship. I uh, um was seeing people who did harm to me uh, but I didn't care about it because it was like another kind of self-harm 
while I started with uh, more cutting and burning and those kind of self-farming behavior, I experimented with not drugs, I haven't done that, but I was seeing dishonest people that were using me for their own benefit and I was both okay with it but also not okay with it because sometimes I said no but things happens anyway and I didn't do anything about it because it was another way of self-harming and that happened when I was around 17 to 22, 23 and somewhere before the age of 25 i also was together with my abusive ex-boyfriend who abused me i have talked a lot about him on the channel and about the trauma he caused me and it felt like i was left behind in life i hadn't ha i hadn't ha have a job or uh, i wasn't building up a career, I wasn't building up my education, I wasn't building a family, I had nothing. I also had a very rough contact with my own biolog biological uh, birth family. I didn't have much contact with them because of reasons. And uh, it felt like I was very alone and I couldn't seem to take myself out of the situation I was in. But then a few years ago, like I said, it felt like I suddenly a day just became spiritual. No religion, um, no particular religion uh, was brought into my life. It was more of a general spirituality that i was aware of the universe and i was aware of my own abilities to do witchcraft and i became aware of um, that i wasn't alone about that i have guardian angels uh, that i have spirits around me and i didn't really believe in those things earlier but or I, I believed in those things, but I wasn't really interested in learning more. But for a few years ago, I learned or I discovered that I wanted to learn more about it. I wanted to learn like Reiki, which I have started now, uh, several years later after I discovered it. I got Reiki received Reiki, a Reiki healing session. Uh, it was my mom's friend. Um, I went to her and I have received Reiki healing and now I want to learn it myself. And I also have taken a lot of spiritual courses and, uh, and things like that. And I started to become more and more interested in spirituality for a few years ago. I have been a uh, witch or identify with, with with witchcraft since I was around 14 15 years old years old but I didn't really get any mo motivation to actually start practicing I started when I was like 26 or 27 and first it was rough but then I started to see some progress so to me, it was really that spirituality became my personal growth uh, aid, or what to call it. It felt like that was what made me progress. And uh, I also found other tools to make my life better, for example, I uh, started with journaling. That's a huge part of my daily self-care habits. And I'm not afraid of using like stickers, like you can see this sticker binder, 
or using pens to make it funnier or being creative just being creative it's also part of my spirituality because i use sigils a lot uh, drawing sigils and i like art therapy that's a big part of how i have developed lately and yeah i i think i i think the key of me making progress is that i do more things i want to do now i don't do what society or everyone else expect from me i'm doing more of what makes me happy so this was the first video in the series of uh, late bloomer series uh, this was the first video of me telling a little bit about the background of me being a late bloomer and i just want to say that life doesn't end at 30 you don't have to you don't have to have things figured out quite yet if you don't have it figured out because there is no time limit we have literally our entire lives to figure things out and uh, this was the first video in the series and i want to do more of these personal growth videos because i think that's what can benefit the most people and uh, i think that will benefit my own health as well so yeah thank you